Seven ways Jesus is the best friend you could ever have. Jesus is more than your king and savior. He's also your best friend. Christians think of Jesus as their Lord, Savior, King and Master. However, believers rarely think of Jesus as being a close friend. Though that might sound strange to you at first, Jesus actually wants us to think this way. Jesus is our King, but he never wants us to fear that we are beneath him. He wants us, us to talk to him, come to him during our times of trouble and build a, a loving, long-lasting friendship. Jesus has the non-negotiable attributes that a best friend could possess, such as honesty, listening, skills, and the ability to accept you for who you are. When you boil it down, you realize that Jesus is an example of what a perfect friend should be. Once you see all the things that a friendship with Jesus offers, you will realize that he is the best friend that you could ever have. A truly happy life is made possible when we choose to have a friendship with him. Jesus listens to you. In Psalms 5 3, it states, In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Jesus hears your voice every time you pray to him. When you take time out of the day to speak with Jesus, he will put everything else down to listen to you. He never has too much other things going on or interrupt you mid sentence. Jesus will simply listen because he wants to hear exactly what you have to say, no matter the topic. Simple daily chit chat or deeper, more emotional problems. He will be there with an open ear. Jesus is honest. Titus 1 2 says, A faith and, and knowledge resting on the hopes of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time. This was clearly states that God, who is completely and wonderfully perfect, does not lie. Jesus will continuously be honest with you. He will never turn his back on you, gossip about you, or make empty promises. Jesus has always been truthful in everything he has said. It hurts us when we have a dear friend lie to us, so we can find comfort in knowing that our best friend Jesus will always be honest. Jesus gave his life for you. In John 15, 13, Jesus says, This greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus knew that a true friend is someone who is willing to sacrifice for the friends they love and care about. And what a friend Jesus really is. He loved us so much, he sacrificed himself so that we could have an avenue to heaven. That took an incredible amount of faith and courage for Jesus to do something so amazing for all of us. He's the ultimate best friend because of the beautiful loving gift of eternal life he so thoughtfully gave to each of us. Jesus will always be by your side. Jesus promised to never leave or forsake his people. We plainly throw scripture, Deuteronomy 16, 31, 6, Hebrews 13, 5. Jesus really means this. No matter what hills you face in life, you can always count on him to be by your side, guide you along the way. He'll never abandon you, leave you feeling lonely, or let you fight your battles on your own. Jesus instead is a real friend that will encourage you, lift you up, and help you through both the good and the dark times in our lives. When you build a relationship with Jesus, you will feel a sense of comfort in your day-to-day -day life because you know he is walking alongside you. Jesus loves you unconditionally. Jesus will love you through it all, no matter what you do in life. He will always be there to give you the love you deserve. He even, he even loved you before you, before you, before you gave you, he even loved you before you gave your life to him. No matter the past you have, drugs, theft or similar, Jesus will always, will, will and always has loved you. When you are angry and turn against him, he will still love you. You have probably had friends that said they would love you no matter what, but have turned their back on you when you needed their love the most. Jesus would never do that because his love is overflowing. Jesus will always accept you. A best friend is someone that accepts you for who you are no matter what. Jesus is that person. He'll never look at you funny for not wearing a cool outfit or ever judge you for your hobby of kind collecting. 
God built you to be beautiful you to be beautiful beautifully you and didn't make a single mistake creating you. Jesus sees the things that make you unique and deems them to be awesome. He wants you to live out your life feeling unique and authentic. Jesus will accept you exactly the way you are at life. No matter what your age, gender, skin, color, social status or amount of money you have, he accepts you for you. Jesus wants the Jesus wants the best for you. We always make friends with someone that really only cared about themselves. They wanted to advance their own life, but could really care less about yours. Jesus is the complete opposite because Jesus wants the best for you. He will guide you in making smart decisions and will help you if you ask him. Jesus wants to see you flourish and grow to become the best version you are that you can be. He will lift you up and support you through tough choices. He will steer you in the he will never he will never steer you in the wrong direction because he knows the potential you have. Is Jesus your best friend? If you don't feel relationship is there yet, that's okay. If you continue walking and building a relationship, uh, building a friendship, you will quickly realize how G Jesus really is the best friend that you could ever have. He is more than just our savior. He is someone we can always rely on and turn to during troubled times. What is your favorite thing about having a friendship with Jesus? My best thing about having a friendship with Jesus is that he gave me the love that this world could not give me. He gave me the gift of the Holy Spirit that freed me of my suicidal thoughts and he's encouraged me and uplifted me and he, he knows me. No one else will love me more than he does because he created me. So it's very hard to pinpoint one best thing, but I feel very close to him because he, when he's on this earth, never hesitates to support people. He took the initiative to help people, as I've done with my loved ones, or attempted to do, even though they pull up walls and they later turned on me and cut me out. And when they did not respect my free will and when they hurt me dearly, and all I wanted was just for them to love God and and love and and, lo and love God and, lo and love the source of love and and love my best friend. They did not love my best friend Jesus. They didn't believe either he existed or they didn't b believe in him at all because they loved this world too much than loving the one who sacrificed his life for them. I feel very close to Jesus, his love of children, but his sense of righteousness to know evil, that lying is wrong, that, people, that sin is evil and wrong. It's very hard to put down a favorite thing about my friendship with Jesus, but that he loved me when this world could not love me and that he he, he respects me and knows my potential and never belittles me and never hurt, he's never hurted me. He was there for me even when I turned against him. He was always there for me from the moment that I was brought into this world and to the moment he'd be with me to the very end when I draw my last breath and when that happens I will, I will finally meet him face to face because he's already in my soul. He's with me all the time through the Holy Spirit. So to have everlasting life and eternity with my best friend, Jesus Christ, there's, there's no greater thing than to spend eternity with your creator. That's what I'm looking most forward to, to heaven. Anyway, I do hope that you too can have, choose to have a, a, a friendship with the creator of the universe, Jesus Christ, um, and have him as your best friend as I do. And that whenever you're troubling and when you need someone to listen to, when you're with someone who can love you unconditionally, you have Jesus that will be there for you. Through the toughest time when all our friends are abandoning you, when all our friends prioritize themselves and prioritize this world, Jesus will be there for you because he loves you.